Well, I want to keep you like, like she was back in the day. Yeah, I had to fight to get where I am now. I grew up right, there, right here in, in uh, Rosedale. My maiden name was Jewel Edward. My married name is Jewel Sander. Everybody here from Mississippi know about Jewel Pie. I quit school. I was eight or 15 years old. I grabbed out of school. Then I still got with the still a right worker. The Martin Luther King, we go to the meeting he had, we go to the rally he do. We went to jail with him. And yeah, he was our leader. That was in 1965, with the Mars was going on. We all went to a lot of places, you know. We went everywhere. And everybody, see, we were marching, they joined in. We walked. We saw him. ain't gonna nobody gonna, we ain't gonna let nobody turn around. Ain't gonna nobody gonna, we ain't gonna let nobody turn around. Police with him in the head with black jack beat him down like they want nothing. You know, we did it. We, we were right behind him. We slept, we ate, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked. We got to Jackson, Mississippi. So he said, we're gonna march to the capital. Oh, I said, yeah. I said, when are we gonna do that? He said, we're gonna do that now. Police come running out there, snatching everybody, coming in the car. And they build a fence around it on each side, down all the way down, on this side, on that side. The more guys, they were black. Some of them were black, some of them were white. They were cooking. He was all naked and dirty. I said, hey, woman, I'm not going to eat this. Young. She said, what you say? She said, uh, wait a minute. She went over in that corner and got that. That she ain't going, she put it upside of my head. She said, now you're going to eat it. She said, get the top of your head, blow it off. Stick your hand down in that hot bath of water and watch that crate. I look at her. She said, now, you're going to stick your hand down in there. I did. When I pulled my hand out the water, I look at my skin. I said, I see my bone. When I woke up, they had me in a part of the hospital or some part, some hospital in Jackson. She said, we wrapped your hand up. It had been burned real bad. I had went home then. So my little came, he came and got her. I heard him speak when he said, when, say, I'm going to Memphis, but I got to go and make a speech about the plumbing line. He said, I know I ain't coming back, but I got to go. He knew he was going to die when he got to Memphis. He knew that. When I heard it, they did kill him. She's on TV. I said, Lord, how much? And I killed my loom king. Say, y'all stand up for yourself. You know who you are, and you know where you come from. And that's something that my loom king teach me. Don't be afraid. Keep on. Came a long, long way to turn around. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on we shall overcome. Can you believe it? Can you believe that you can shall overcome? Black people still doesn't have some of the rights they deserve, but by me being black and um a female, I know it's gonna be hard, but I know I'm still gonna try to fight to get to where I'm going and where I wanna be in life. You can believe it. Yeah. But you know what? You got to prove it. You got to do this every day. You don't look for nobody giving you nothing all the time. She got to learn, and then she got to listen to somebody that's been there. And you can keep, y'all want to be a leader. You lead them. You be yourself. Don't be nobody else.